Oh, it's a beautiful start to the year when we have Brent Tollefson in studio. Good friend, owner of the Carpet Garage, a part-time male model. Brent, wonderful to have you here, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me. Happy holidays. Hey, thanks, buddy. You too. Uh, tell me about the male modeling, first of all, because you, uh, you're you more svelte than you used to be. Well, I'm just walking on the treadmill and trying to eat a little healthier. A uh, bad time of the year to do that, but... Uh... You know, it's uh, I had about four cookies last night, but, you know, it's four more than I've had the previous month. So, Oh, well, good on you. Uh, Brent, we've been friends for a number of years, uh, and in the summer, we find ourselves in gluttonous joy at the golf course, uh, having a couple of cocktails and eating all the bar food that we probably ever shouldn't eat. Uh, and I miss those days, man. Are you missing golf right now? Oh, my gosh. More than anything. Uh, you know, I was watching golf on TV last week, Tiger and his son, and yep. just makes you want to get out there right yeah but then uh, when we watch our son's golf it doesn't i i don't i love simon simon's four crosby seven is seven that, yeah seven yeah I, you look like you had to search for that just a little bit do you enjoy golfing with crosby because i don't enjoy golfing with simon yet Ooh, i can't say after that. after 10 minutes oh gosh 10 no. minutes i like he it. has way more interest in digging in the sand yep. and uh, grabbing branches from the trees uh -huh. and uh doing things like that than actually hitting the golf ball and uh, frustration as a father is uh, officially hit in full time. So uh, uh, when did when did you pick up golf and like actually liked it as a passion? Because you're a really good golfer. You know, I never really got good until college or after college. I got cut my senior year of high school on the golf team, which was uh, quite humbling. But uh, uh, my dad loves the golf, and it's always been something that we get to do together, which is just fantastic. And really look forward to do that with Crosby someday. But, uh, you know, you can't make them do it. If right. uh, they don't want to do it, they won't. So um, hopefully it happens. Well, you golf because your dad golfed, absolutely really, right. Mm -hmm. And now you own the carpet garage because your dad owned the carpet garage, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that transition. Did everybody see that? Watch out! Oh, whoa, buddy! <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the carpet garage. You're fourth generation. We are. My sister, my uh, second cousin, are uh, the three owners of the carpet garage. Okay, yep. carpet garage. And then you own some slumberlands too, right? We do. Yeah, scattered uh, throughout northern Minnesota and a couple in North Dakota. Weird times to to own. Like, I want to go back to uh, to March when COVID hit. What did you think was going to happen with your businesses? Gosh, you know, we uh, just like everyone, you didn't, you don't know. Um, but gosh, it was pretty scary times. You just. We didn't know what was going to happen. Minnesota, obviously, with us being in three different states. Uh, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, correct. all very different uh, political systems, and they all run with different rules. Very much so. And uh, so it was it was difficult. Uh, Minnesota was the most challenging for us, to. We had to close some uh um, some stores, which was frustrating and difficult, and um, but we we made it through, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, thank God that our industry and our businesses. I mean, there's a lot worse ones out there that are struggling I mean, through this. You guys have you found surprising success in some areas, haven't you? Just because real estate, we we just said we didn't expect this, and now it's been really robust, and things like home remodeling and people doing projects on their house. It's surprising how many people are jumping at that right now. You know what? Uh, we've been we've been living just fine through it, and that uh, a lot of people are sitting around. Uh, they're at home with their spouse, and they're they're working from home, and they look down, and they're like, "Well, honey, <laughs> we should redo this." Uh -huh. So uh, we've had a lot of people making home offices, home gyms, or they're just working from their kitchen table, and they're like, "Gosh, it's time." So uh, we've been doing a lot of a lot of home projects, and yeah, it's a great time to do it. Uh, you know what I found, and this is this is interesting, is uh, we're talking today about Airbnbs, VRBOs, and how that's become such a, a hot market. And I have a condo downtown that uh, you're you're gearing up to do work on, right, to change the flooring in there. Because I, I have always said that I think flooring is the most important thing in a house. Because when you walk in, you're looking down to find your way. Right. And if you're in your house every day through COVID or you own an Airbnb and you want the tenants to see it, whatever it may be, that first impression matters a lot. Well, I certainly think so. And yeah, like you said, you know, the eye follows the floor and, you know, the days of Tommy getting blue carpet and Jenny getting pink and mom and dad getting green are gone. So uh, people are more or less flowing throughout the same product mm -hmm. throughout and the eye follows the floor and it makes the house feel more wide open. Uh, so you've seen a lot of uh, you, you've seen a surge in business. Is that fair to say or you've just seen a change in business? I wouldn't say we've seen a surge, but uh, it's business has been just fine. OK. Uh, uh, and thank goodness, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we're just we're so fortunate to to work in industries that haven't crashed like so many places have. Mm -hmm. um, what do you expect now with it being twenty twenty one? What do you expect uh, to happen this year in your industries? 
Gosh, I feel like that's trying to predict the stock market. Uh, we just don't Which know. Which you do try to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, we don't know. Uh, we have a lot of different markets. We're diversified. Uh, so, you know, thank God for that. But uh, I, I expect another solid year, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the, both uh, in the home furnishing industries. So. Well, we've seen new construction be really hot as Mm -hmm. of late, right? Yeah, for Uh, sure. More homes sold in 2020 in new construction than had in probably the previous four or five years. Not combined, but like if you just look at each individual year. 2016 was a huge year. 2020 was a huge year. And then we had some fine years in between. But new construction was really big. Um, Do you expect as uh, vacancies will start to increase because now in 2021 evictions will happen and that sort? Do you think that there will be a lot of demand for uh, those places to get spruced up? I'm I'm guessing, Brent, that that's coming. You know what? Uh, Once again, your guess is as good as mine, but I sure hope so. Uh, I think that that would be something that certainly could happen in 2021. Yeah, I mean, we don't want evictions for people, but certainly places need to be uh, prettied up and, and, and brought to standard. If I'm a homeowner right now and I want to make some changes, I want to spruce up my pad. Right. What What's my go-to? Like, do I need to hire a general contractor? Do I need to go directly to your store in, in Fargo or Dilworth? Like, what's my plan? You know, uh, the best option is, uh, I mean, a lot of people just use the internet with Pinterest and getting ideas first and foremost mm-hmm. there. But come on into our store. We have so many uh, SKUs in stock. We have the largest selection of vinyl plank is the hot, sexy thing out there. Uh, we have over a thousand rolls and remnants. So, I mean, we have something for everyone. And sometimes it can be overwhelming just because we do have so many options. But we guarantee you'll find something for you. But uh, if you want to use a general contractor or designer, by all means, we work with other, those as well. Yeah, uh, I I think that what's great is that you, uh, of course, as owner of the Carpet Garage, you have some amazing storefronts. Thank uh, you. Yeah, and they serve also, they double up as warehouses in a sense, right? Sure. Uh, that, that you can go and you can, you can get a chance. Because I want to feel the flooring. I want to feel the carpet pad. Right. Uh, I can buy some art online. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to buy flooring online. I want to go and feel it and see it in person. They can do that at your places. They certainly right? can. Uh, you know, I just honestly don't know how people can do that online. Uh, I mean, the touch, the feel, the texture, there's just so much to flooring that uh, I think you really want to touch and feel. Yeah, I know. If I'm ever going to get hair plugs, I want to be able to touch and feel that and not just <laughs> buy that online. Sight you and I both, That's brother. Right. You and I both. <laughs> another another wonderful similarity that we have is right. uh, reseeding hairlines. Uh, Brent, uh, let's end with this. Uh, yes. uh, you talked about vinyl plank as the hot stuff. Yes. What's what's vinyl plank? Vinyl plank. Um, so it's a click together product. Think of laminate, but it's 100% waterproof. So oh. made of plastic. Um polymers you know they won't tell us exactly what's in it but uh, it's 100 percent <laughs> waterproof and it uh, clicks together very easy to do it yourself um if you're a handy person uh you and i are not so we hire contractors to install those for us oh, so. true story as jj would tell you uh what's in my toolbox is my checkbook so thank you <laughs> thank you for that jj uh brent i love the carpet garage you're located on 13th avenue in west fargo Correct. kind of right on the cusp of fargo west fargo across from menards uh and on highway 10 uh in dilworth yeah, yeah absolutely uh Brent Tollefson. Love you, buddy. So glad to have you you in my life. Uh, Folks, go to the Carpet Garage, get yourself some new flooring, and we're going to go to break. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch.